Hello Leo, this is Sue from Sweet Love Tarot. I started uh, doing this reading and my iPhone ran out of storage space so I uh, had to stop and restart. But I had one jumper uh, come out which was um, uh, the chariot. Um, and it's funny because I was talking about uh, how things have changed in my life and, and how I've, I feel like I've gone through a transformation and I have had to move and um, that partly uh, explains um, my long absence. Uh, I've been going through some things um, emotionally, uh, as well as, you know, just your basic brass tacks of, you know, living your life. Uh, and for me, I don't know if it's this way for all Leos, because I'm actually a Leo Cancer cusp. When things get difficult emotionally everything else seems to be overwhelming and uh, and I'm gonna stop talking about that now because I might start uh, you know going off again so yeah uh, I'm trying to put all that stuff behind me now so we have the chariot so we do have moving forward uh, which is an excellent start, and I'm glad to see it. Okay. Yes, uh, no more petty squabbles. Uh, we're leaving that, all that stuff behind. Um, somehow we instinctively knew that the path we were on, even though it was what we wanted more than anything, it wasn't right. Uh, so... Yeah, so we're putting that behind us. And uh, the King of Pentacles may be our reward. Uh, something coming in. Um, a very mature, um, so rock solid, steady um, person coming in uh, to my future. Hopefully this June. Uh, that would be a nice change of pace. <laughs> Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, I think that's confirmed. Uh, this is the uh, the Sun in the Mystical Tarot uh, by Giuliano Costa. Uh, it's an Italian deck. It's beautiful, but it's traditional enough that um, it's not difficult to read. Uh, you don't, you know, you don't have to learn a whole new deck, which is great. I mean, I, I, the the symbolism is there for a reason, as it exists. Ah, yes. Uh, nine of Swords in Reverse. Uh, no more tortured nights. No more nightmares. And, and uh, yeah, and there's those, those negative thoughts that I've recently learned that I have to let go of. Because I have created for myself, um, you know horrible things I mean if you if the moment that you have a doubt about something if you start to think oh my god well what if uh, what if uh, he doesn't love me anymore what if he's seeing somebody else what if uh, what if I said something wrong what if I'm not pretty enough what if I you know and you create a hundred reasons why you know uh, you insert your thoughts into someone else's head you know, without a word from them, as you know, like that. Uh, but sometimes, without a word from them, is the problem. You need to, uh, communication um, to be able to put some things to rest. But it looks as if you've had to put them to rest on your own, uh, with no help from anyone. And as a result, you're 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 going walking away with the spoils of war. You. Uh, this is not um, this is not like a thief. Uh, you look like you're getting away by the skin of your teeth, yes. Um, and it's been hard. Uh, but you but you're not going away empty-handed. You've learned something very valuable uh, and you're taking that lesson with you. <sighs> options, seven of cups. now you have options. Um, and there again, uh, close to traditional, a uh, lot of options, uh, being available to you now. Uh, n not all of them are 
pleasant. So you can't just grab the first option that comes along. You have to be discerning. You have to carefully weigh your choices and see which ones hold something good for you, which ones are a happy home, which ones mean, um, you know, love with your soulmate. And, uh, but then you know, watch out, some of them have a snake. <laughs> Oops, that's the bottom. I don't like the bottom of this deck. Uh, the Ten of Swords. Although, uh, it could be that a betrayal is what caused you to go on a spiritual journey. You were faced with a situation where uh, you weren't getting uh, information in, but it looks as if you worked it out anyway. Okay, yeah, no no four of wands, no stable foundation as of yet, um, but we're, oh, and you, you have had an offer come in, uh, but it doesn't, you don't think it's good enough, so you're going to completely ignore it and pretend that doesn't exist, yep, and it's reinforcing you have a choice to make. Uh, Apparently, uh, ha having to do with a love relationship. Um, so, yes. There again, weigh your options. And don't grab the first thing that comes along. Because it may seem kind of okay initially. But if you dig a little deeper, you might find that they're not totally 100%. They're not on the up and up. And they just want to play. And if that's not what you're looking for, keep moving. Uh, thus far, you really haven't gotten the recognition that you feel you deserve. It has been slow coming, but you have been slow in coming out of the dark. So, um, all these things are coming your way now. Um, you should be well on your way uh, by June, as far as being out of the dark and and getting to your um, your recognition. So yeah, and uh, y you're waiting for your ships to come in, uh, as they say. But I almost it's hard to say whether the ships are coming in or out. That's the traditional thing people say, but it's basically to me your. You, you've done a lot of work, and you have managed to put together three wands. You're waiting on that fourth one for stability, um, but you haven't seen it come yet. And you're getting really worried about finances, and you, you're, you're sort of feeling a little miserly at this point. You don't feel like you can afford to let anything go, um, so you get nervous. Yep, and an offer of, a proper offer, an offer of love, is not forthcoming. <laughs> Same with passion, by the way. <laughs> okay, so no love, no passion. Are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this, to me, in reverse, we're looking at a uh, an unwelcome truth coming to light. And maybe that would explain why so much of this is in the reverse. Um, granted, sometimes it's good to have things in reverse. The, the Ten of Swords in reverse, way better than not in reverse. <laughs> because uh, at least... It indicates you'd be letting things fall away. But you have stopped the negative thoughts. But you know you don't have all the information yet. But you know what? You're going to have to let that go. Because it's not looking like it's forthcoming. <laughs> Unfulfilled. Um, you know, it's funny. I'm a Leo, and I've been watching Leo readings, and everybody gives these glowing, wonderful readings about how happy uh, everything is right now for Leos. And I'm getting, yeah, see there again, maybe it's, maybe it's my 
negative thoughts. Maybe it's my my energy that's turning this to a negative reading. And that kind of indicates that might be correct. The Emperor, um, I, I maybe I'm steering it. The King of Cups. Well, this this is a positive sign. <laughs> <laughs> at least it's upright and it has to do with love so and and a very mature love N not goofing around not uh, a game of slap and tickle seriously all in that's what this card is telling me so um, everyone's been telling me that this is what will come for me uh, before May is out um, and it's difficult to um, it's difficult to see considering all the things that I have gone through in this past seven eight months um, betrayal uh, heartache pain uh, this is this is welcome um, but like I say it's difficult to wrap your head around sometimes so, uh, Leo, um, keep a good thought, uh, <laughs> and maybe your king will be coming for you. Uh, good luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.